<laughs> what? Should I read it? You, you are, are in Houston City Center with, me, with the counter? The counter? At the counter? Uh, uh, One EP, yeah? Two uh, albums, yes, yeah? Uh, and you ten year. about it ten years ago. So you want to know? Uh, uh, from the, the rocks to ten a year. Yeah? Two albums, one EP. Uh. Ah, okay. So what happened? Yes. So, yeah. We have been always a band. Traveling. Playing live. We don't spend, waste time on, you know, fancy stuff like dress your hair and <laughs> put, you know, makeup on. We just out on the road all the time and play, you know. And we, uh... We started as a cover band, like rock and roll, Rolling Stone stuff, year, 15 years ago, okay. you know, and uh, we it took us some years to find the people, right people for the band, then we founded the New Roses. Since then we released two albums, one EP, and then our third album will come out this August 25. It's called One More For The Road. Okay, uh, two cover band... Um, um From the influence, uh, Rolling Stones. Uh, okay. okay, yeah. Germany is a very uh, rich side metal group. Can you explain uh, new new way? Um, I don't know why, but I, it's always been that way. And I grew up on metal bands uh, too. You know, um, I always liked blues rock. But I always went to when Motorhead was in town. When uh, Machine Head was in town, when Sepultura was in town, Iron Maiden, I saw like eight or nine times, Metallica was like 15 times, you know. So, I don't know, I think just German people just like to bang their heads, that's it, you know. I don't know why it is like that. <laughs> okay. How you how you this uh, con composition and the group and to do uh, happiness uh, to you to live uh, a lot uh, of peace uh, on the side uh, from the um, the group uh, composition yeah uh, oh it's the composition the band okay. okay and does it and, happen and, uh, to uh, you to the okay uh, usually this is how it works I have an idea I write a song, I record it, send it to the boys, we meet in the rehearsal room, play it. Then the guys say, we like it, it feels good, it feels not good, we don't like it. And if they like it, I finish the song, if they don't, I go to the next, you know. And then usually my songs are 12 minutes long because I put everything I can imagine, put in one song, and then the guys from the band Uh, we meet up and then we cut everything out that's not good enough. And then we just put it down to three minutes or something. I hide to pleasure to see your performance last September and the Rams oh, Fest yeah, cool. in France. Yeah. How you uh, prepared a concert of the New Roses? How we start? Mm -hmm. stuff? Uh, you know, it's always different because sometimes you're on a festival like this you have no time because everything you know has to be really quick and uh, we played and uh, with the dead daisies uh, near Paris yesterday night so we had to drive another five hours six hours at one o'clock so we got to the hotel at five in the morning we had to show up here at nine so there was no time to prepare anything you know you just Sleep, open your eyes, get your shit, walk to the bus, that's it. You know, you just show up here, get your guitar, blah, 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 and then you rock and roll. You know, and sometimes you just wait forever. You know, you have a sound check at one in the afternoon, and then you wait for seven hours for your show. And then, you know, I practice guitar, we drink beers sometimes, you know, walk around. I love to take pictures with the camera. And, uh, Meet people, talk to people, everybody, like stagehands, mixers, I don't know, roadies, you know, other band members. I like to, you know, be in contact with everybody because everybody has an interesting story to tell. You know? It's remember, uh, it's beautiful, um, uh, Rain Festival, it's uh, for you. Yeah, this is 
and it's so cool because you meet so many people. And the public, French, yes? It, oh, it's amazing. French it's amazing. people are amazing. I'm not yeah. saying this because you're French and we're here in France, because, uh, you know, uh, French audience is, since day one, since the first time we came here with Accept, um, yes. since the first day, it's always been like a real rush, you know? You come off stage, you're like, okay, this is not normal. We, we're just lucky tonight. Second time, France. We finished the show, we're like, okay, two times in a row, you know, really lucky. <laughs> Now we played here several shows, and every time we're finished, we stay like, this was really lucky today. So I don't think it's luck, I just think, you know, it's a good connection between us and the French people. Okay. Um, uh, what do you choose, uh, choose, uh, choose the name and News Roses? You are a fan of the Guns N' Roses? You know, it's just roses. You know, it's not. It's not they own. It's not that they, they own the word roses. You know, it's just we wanted the name of for a rock and roll band. You know, and uh, we thought New Rose is okay. You know, it's an okay name for a band, and we just, you know, we didn't think a lot about this. You know, at first, when we came out, people asked me in interviews. I had this cool story, but. Honestly, we just wanted a rock and roll name. You look at a poster, you see a band called the New Roses, you think it might, must be a rock and roll band. Okay. That's it. So we didn't put much effort in it. Uh, Tug, you release a live album and the last tour? It's a recording from the last tour album? Because of the a future? Live yes. Uh, we, will, like, we never thought about this so, so far because uh, we, uh, we play so many shows Um, that we actually didn't have the time to prepare for live recording and you know schedule everything. We just play, 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 ride, 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 practice, re uh, record, release the new record. So we have a new record coming out with new songs and stuff. So I, you know, and you don't make, I don't think you make a live record after two albums. You know? Okay. You maybe you have. When we have more to choose from. In five albums? Yeah, maybe every, maybe after five albums you have a lot to choose from, you know, it might be like a best of live <laughs> stuff. So after two albums, we don't feel like it so far. Okay. Uh, Dead Man Voices, why the track is concept album? Uh, not really, you know, uh, without a trace of first album, I had all my life till that day to write that album. So, on the, without a trace album, there were songs I wrote when I was 17. There were songs I wrote when I was 27. So I had 10 years of collecting songs. Dead Man's Voice, we, uh, when Without a Trace came out, yes. we had one year to write all the songs for Dead Man's Voice. So it's much more a concept album than the other one, because everything happened at the same time, you know. But I, we don't say like we want to do uh, this topic or a special thing we just said we want to do a straight up rock and roll record and, and uh, go as far as we can uh, close to our live show so no special effects and stuff you know just like one guitar two second guitar vocals bass and drums and that's it you know so and we, we st follow that road Uh, for this record, for the new record too, even more than before. So this is the really the live, the most live record we recorded so far. The art rock is a super uh, interesting. Uh, that's a real, is it? The, the art rock to the album. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about it is we have this guy. Uh, he does the artwork. He did the artwork for the new album too. Uh, And we just sent him the record, and he listens to it, and sends us back the artwork. We don't tell him anything. So like, we don't tell him, we want this, we want that. We just send him the songs, he listens, sends back the artwork, and we just say, yeah, that's it. It was great for Dead Man's Voice record, and it was great for One More For The Road, which is going to be very different to the first one, but uh, it was still great. Okay. Um, Uh, which artist influenced it to make uh, the music play for you? Oh yeah, a lot of, it's, it's going to be, it's, it would take a whole festival to tell you all my influence, but I have a lot of different, so from 
like James Hatfield to Marvin Gaye, you know, everybody influenced me. I listened to a lot of soul music. I love Hank Williams. I love, you know, um, Solomon Burke, John Fogarty, you know, Paul Rogers, Robert oh. Plant, you know, B.B. King, you know, uh, there's so many. It's a dreaming, the playing from the artist, from the scene. Oh, we played with ZZ Top, that was ZZ great. Top. We played, you know, with so many great people, but, you know, for me, it's just listen to the music. When I listen to an Allman Brothers song, it makes me happy either to see it live or on record. It doesn't matter. This influence from the, the R&B and rock and roll and the hard rock? Yeah, you know, I think if, you, if you know about it, you hear it. I'm not the, the typical hard rock vocalist, you know. I put a lot of soul and soul music and blues music in my vocals. I actually try, at least. What is the last CD in your head? That I bought? Yeah. Good question. <laughs> I think it was the uh, Tedeschi Trucks Band record. Buffalo or something with Buffalo, Buff Wild Buffalo or something. Yeah. Okay. Tedeschi Trucks Band. Mm -hmm. In which uh, country, world do you live uh, to performance? And everywhere. We would love to. Everywhere we in go, Japan, we have a good time. And in Japan would be great. We would we'd love to go to Russia. We would love to go to the United States. We can't wait to, to spread our rock and roll music everywhere. You know, everywhere we went so far was great. So we want to go everywhere and see how it, how great it can be. You know, that's it. Okay. The final word from your listener, your fan. Uh, so far, people, French people, we have such a great time every we come every time we come here. I just want to say merci beaucoup for everything and I hope to see you all again on our upcoming tour for the new record One More For The Road coming out on August 25th so meet you in front of the stage and we have a great time afterward okay thank you okay, no problem